YouTube, what's good? This is Random Trials. Throughout the years, I have collected weapons that I enjoy. Oh, You want to use an immortal? You gotta deal with the daddy. Sure, some may look like gems and others may look like hot trash. But there is no mistaking that I think they have earned a spot in my vault. Using them, I am going to randomize every single weapon slot. I won't know if I will get a god roll or a weapon I am hoping will become meta someday. You see, my vault is absolutely packed. I am excited yet nervous to see what comes up. My ultimate goal is to reach the lighthouse in Trials of Osiris. It took me a while to collect enough weapons to infuse any low power level equipment, so because of that, I have allowed myself one rule. If I receive a sunset weapon or no primary weapon, then it means I get to re-roll. As always, your support on this video means the world to me, so make sure you drop me a comment and a like if you want to see more videos like this. Without further ado, it's time to start randomizing. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for random. Let's go ahead and start randomizing. Give me the goods. Bless me with the god tier loot that I have in my vault. If you don't, I'm gonna be pissed. All right, I got a bow, PVE bow, and oh no. Isn't this the true prophecy from Xur, like last weekend? Oh my God, I saved it for infusion trash. All right, no, it's fine. It's not a terrible roll. I got a PVE Wendigo. <laughs> All right, wish me luck. All right, what am I up against? A dead messenger? And claws, you know what he's gonna be doing. Oh, this is so toxic already. Immortal and Monarch. It's already beyond toxic. We have one warlock going psycho mode sliding at you with a grenade launcher and his melee. And then you have the other psycho at the back of the map spamming Lemonarch, trying to make your hairline recede. And he also has an immortal in case in case you still have like a couple extra, you know, hairs lying around. You maniac. Oh my god, it's a lemon arc. Good. 1v1. Oh my god! Skull is prime in his prime right now, making a massive 1v2 clutch. We love to see it. Wait, tell me, buddy, do you have lemon arc? <laughs> yes. I'm gonna use the bow to try to pepper the targets. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of shit right now. Come on, man. You're, oh, shit. Everyone died. If I kill this guy sooner. There we go. Yeah, come on, bro. You were judging me, weren't you? You saw my initial shots with the hand cannon, and you're like, this guy Frostbolt kind of lost it, man. I feel like he doesn't have it no more. It was all part of the setup plan, okay? You fell for the trap. I was gonna 1v3. Didn't miss a single shot once I hit my shots. Crazy how that concept works. Just wait till they buff these bows, bro. You psycho! I got your back, bro. Where's the other one? Where is he? I'm kind of scared right now. Oh, he's in the back of the map. Your teammates need you, man. I have to say, I already feel like it's my lucky day. It's only game one, but I get to play against an immortal Lemonarch. Someone cheesing the Warlock Slide Grenade Launcher. And I'm living, you know, I'm surviving. My hairline is still intact. You know, I could still smile. I still have those muscles working on my face. It's nice. Ooh. Ooh. That's unfortunate. You 
You gotta kill that guy. Oof. I could have easily ran back to the other guys and died, huh? Bubble, but I am confident in my ability to clutch here without needing a super. Nice, well done, beautiful. And guess what? Guess what? Guess what? I have a bubble now. All right, we win these. Follow me, friends. Follow me. This is the path to victory. I see Bubble Titan was definitely the smart play for for today. Who doesn't like free wins? <laughs> I do. All right, so far so good. We beat somebody doing electric slides and a lemon arc user we're off to a good start the weapons not the hottest but i appreciate having a hand cannon all right next yo criminal's dagger but a grenade launcher a grenade launcher a grenade launcher <sighs> all right you know we tried this hand cannon out last weekend and it was actually popping off i think i got it i think i got this all right what do we got someone's playing mida multi-tool Throwing it back, huh? We got an immortal with igneous hamster. So some long range, close range, and the crimson player. Kind of a mid-range player, Wolf Ryu. See a lot of shotguns. I expect a lot of aggressive plays, which it doesn't work in my favor considering that I have a 120. And if I try to backpedal players, it's gonna be a little bit difficult for me to really shut down their shotgun plays. He's gonna get the revive. But on the bright side, we won't have to worry about a shotgun anymore. Beautiful teammates. Whew, the teammates popped off. You know what I did though? I gotta say, I got a really clutch one shot kill with the GL. That time ran at me and he got bodied, bro. Oh my god, my teammates are carrying me. Please keep going. <laughs> Need to get some opportunities here to use my primary. To its full potential. What in oblivion is that? What? No grenade damage. I'm gonna sit on the zone. Dude, I'm doing no damage with this grenade launcher. Like what? I have a hundred blast radius and I, I'm yet to like hit anybody with it. He got body, bro. <laughs> you made a mistake. You made a mistake. Oh. You want to use an immortal? You got to deal with the daddy, the machine gun. I got some good damage. You can't push quickly enough. Hey, hey. 
Yo, they just got 5 0 Ouch! Ouch! I was really expecting to do more with the Crimmel's Dagger. And get like some two tests. It didn't really happen. I guess we could say this was one of those games. There was really no primary gunfights. Man's playing without fastball. So sad. Who? Me? You don't need fastball. All right, it is time to re-roll. Please don't give me grenade launchers. I, I don't like using them. And don't give me fusions, okay? All right. A submachine gun and a sweet sorrow. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, this is the one that I bought from Zer. I did tell people to use it. It was actually really solid if you didn't have it. What is that range, bro? That's pathetic. Oh my God. My SMG has more. <sighs> the clown spitter. Oh no. All right, wish me luck. All right, we're up against the Rose Mindbenders. <sighs> Lemon Arc user is going to be painful to deal with. It needs Invis too on top of that. A sniper tie-in with Osteo, which means he probably will get some guaranteed trades. We have how many Titans? Three, I believe. One of my Titans is playing Behemoth. Ouch. At least we have the other one playing Bubble. But yeah, that Behemoth. I don't really expect them to do much. Beautiful, well done, well done. That's bad. I'm going for the revive. Who knows where the lemon arc is going? Beautiful. Hey, how clutch was that? I get the auto rifle kill, and then I swapped over to the harmony. That was the whole reason I was able to kill that guy as fast as I did. Holy lemon arc user. You're being pretty mean to them, bro. But you're on my team, so I don't mind. <laughs> All right, we need to find a way to get that mid-map area control. Oh, that is just straight up unlucky. I'm alive though. Perfect. Oof, my goodness, I got the revive and got the nade on the zone just in time. We love to see it. All right, it's time to ran demise. Hit me with the goods. A pulse rifle and a slug. You know, this is my infusement trash, but it's a really good infusement trash. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Look at that roll. Ooh. And this is my PVE first and last out. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Why? Wait. What? Wait. Wait. 
Wait, you're telling me there's four people? Oh my god, this game is so bad. Wow, this game is literally so bad. <laughs> this game is so bad. You're telling me there's four people total, two are a duo, and me and him are solos, but it won't pair both of us together. No, it's going to put him solo. Put him solo to 1v3, me and a duo, three times. What is this? That is so bad. Dude, if that happened to me, I'd be like, you know what? I'm tapped out for the day. This is, this is it. I'm done. I thought it was going to be a 2v2. I was thinking to myself, all right, we have to play two Titans. I think we can do it. If I crack out, we should be chilling. That guy was, was probably so amped up. You know, he, he looked at the pregame lobby screen. He saw I Frostbolt and he saw a duel. He was like, oh shit. Me and Frost are about a duo versus another yes, duo. Yes, we got this yes, shit, bro. Yes, you know, he was probably pumping himself up. All right, how can I help Frostbolt? He has a pulse. Okay, maybe I'll like stick with him and pulse rifle too. We can get some nice little team shots going, bro. Like, it's, it's about to be good, bro. It's about to be cool. We're about to like slay some times. And then he's like, oh, no, damn. No, All right. No, fuck, shit. One minute left. This guy, Carpool and uh, what's his name? Mans. They're like, oh, wait. You need us, Frostbolt. All right. Oh, on my way, don't worry. I got you, bro. I was just chilling over there back there. Thought it was going to be over. All right, well, we didn't really get to flex this setup <laughs> because we had to play a solo player. Kind of a good thing. I didn't want to use that slug shock and the pulse was kind of decent, but I don't know. I wasn't too confident in it. Ew, it's my rangefinder head seeker roll. Okay, okay. Hey, okay. I'm down. Oh, I'm so down. Let's do it. All right, let's see. What are we up against? Someone's got Graviton and Immortal. We got a sniper player rocking spare rations. And their Titan is rocking a no time to explain. Looks like we got two Titans on my team and a Warlock. Sweet. I didn't notice if the Hunters had to trip my Gauntlets, but let's hope they don't. Please, brothers. Nice. This pulse drift was pretty crispy. The recoil is a little bit intense at a longer range, but I'm hoping that we don't have to deal with too many far players here. That guy was so weak. Log one. Oh my god. So how many players do I need to proc cornered? Surrounded by combans. I don't know what the amount is required, but I was shooting so fast. This thing is so nasty. Oof. I'm burned. Wow. A shoulder charge whiff. Really. Really, really, really. I'm annoyed because I just used about two abilities kind of for no point. My barricade and my grenade down the drain. Oh, they didn't pop up either. I mean, they didn't pop a, a blade barrage. And I didn't have to pop bubble. Good. Good, good, good. That's a massive round. Oh. 
All right, that's one blade brush gone. I wanted to pop, but I would just get countered instantly by a blade brush too. This fusion rifle gave me some really good plays, but it's starting to like let me down a bit. Oh Nobody my god. Plays your fucking game! Oh fucking story! That's cool! Whew. That time made a huge mistake. What were you thinking, Crayon Muncher? Huh? What happened to you, bro? You woke up, opened your box of crayons, and didn't have any inside? What happened? That fusion rifle is nasty. I forget, man, how disgusting. Some of these fusions can be like, I'm talking disgusting. That shit is straight up laser beam. You saw like how far I was mapping with this thing. People were so far and I was getting some crazy one shot kills. But when it comes to tracking, though, know, like move players that are moving left and right instead of just like front and, you know, forward back. It gets really tough to track with M and K. <laughs> All right, squad, let's see what rolls next. Rufus's fury and a scout rifle, bruh. Why you do me like that though, bruh? Double primaries. All right, hey, let's try our best. All right, what are we up against? Someone's rocking stasis, warm husk, drang. Got a striker tie in here with Antaeus, and they have a warlock shade binder, also rocking a drang. Well. I am not too optimistic about this match as Drang is one of those weapons that I can even barely outgun using something like Immortal. It's really going to come down to how smart we play. Huge. Holy, this thing is a monster. Alright, he got away. Would have been nice to get that kill for some super energy. I'm actually shocked though. This gun feels so insane with arrowhead break. I actually don't run that barrel, but now that I have it on, oh my god. I didn't have a barricade, but somehow, brother, somehow I got away. Pushed up close range with the Durang. Not much you can do. I even had like a pre-fire too. Beautiful, good teamwork. Good stuff. I love that explosive rounds. Uh, I actually made it so easy to shoot the landing grenade. Hmm, it's kind of unfortunate that hurt me so much as much as it did. Beautiful, well done, guys. I didn't want to waste the barricade there. It's flinch, man, it doesn't matter. <sighs> oh, huge kill. That's a free rest, too. Oh, huge. Oh my god, that was clutch. Good stuff, guys. One got the trade. This guy managed to outgun the tie-in. And then the barricade was still there for protection. Haha, <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. The scout rifles would be so much better in this game if it wasn't for, like, snipers never flinching. All 
Alright, let's game. Beautiful. That was a crispy nade. That was a tough game, dude. Tough game. I'm happy we uh, came out on top. It really came down to team play and just outplaying the enemy team. And the auto ref was fucking insane, right? This shit fries, dude. It's not like a, my god roll. I need to get like a secondary kill, but the scout rifle obviously was not giving me those harmony buffs. But I'm actually going to consider re-rolling my Rufus's to Arrowhead Break, like my actual PvP one. Here we are at the gates of the lighthouse. It's time to knock at the door and ask them to let me in. They're going to give me one final test. And we're about to see what guns those are. Oh my god, this is practically the god roll for next season. I held this for trash infusement, but it was too perfect as well. I was like, wow. This literally looks like a perfect immortal for next season. Yeah, all the range has keep away and kill clip like I want. I don't know about this, no survivors. Uh, I don't know how to feel about this one. Collective action got nerfed. We got PV Wendigo. All right. I have no range, dude. I have no range. All right, we got this. All right, we're up against an Immortal Graviton Lance. Next player has a Dead Man's Tail with Shinobu's Vow. And the last but not least is Rockin' Rufus's Fury with a Cloud Strike. So, as you can tell, they have some range. And I only have a close range. We're gonna have to try to pop off here. My goal is to try to close the gap as much as possible. Find some close range fights. Is it just me or does the SMG actually fry? Especially from a distance. I don't have a depth range on this, but it was kind of laser beaming. This is a bad zone for me. I don't have any range. I think I'm gonna go ahead and push that far right side as quickly as possible. And perhaps even go to their spawn a bit. There's two radar pings, so that means I have to fight two of them if I stay there. That guy's pretty weak. Another one from behind. I got double teamed. Nice. 1v2, 1v1. Ooh, let's go, teammate. What kind of scout are you rocking, dude? The Tears of Contrition. <laughs> All right. Hey, if it works, it works. That is one of the downsides of me trying to play overly aggressive due to the loadout. Put myself in really bad situations that are not going to be the easiest to get out of. Yeah, Bungie, really good nerf. Round of applause that they're going to nerf target lock and that's literally the only change they're doing to Immortal. Oh, but we're nerfing Rangefinder next season. Oh, totally, bro. Totally, man. Nice, man. This makes me just so triggered reading the weapons article on how they're nerfing the SMG. Because I know, and you probably know, when you read that, like, ah, I don't think that's enough. But they, they're like, ah, but... Trust us, bro. Nice shots, man. I almost made a clutch, but unfortunately, ah, that GL is more of a PvE role than it is PvP. If I managed to make my way back into the shield cover, would have been nice. I probably a little bit riled up from uh, the immortal situation. Let's see if I can get in that area. He's weak. Beautiful. 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 Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You got this, man. Open the gates. Let me through. I want the golden chest. I don't know about you, but low key, I feel like this immortal roll is more OP than my rangefinder target lock roll. It's not, but it feels more OP. <laughs> Dude, it has so much better accuracy because of keep away. It's ridiculous. Look at. 
at that, dude. Oh my God. I wish Bungie would listen. <laughs> I wish they would listen to feedback. I don't know where they go for feedback. I don't think it's Twitter. I don't think it's the forums. I don't think it's Reddit. It's definitely not Twitch or YouTube. Is it Threads? That new social app? Probably got like six people from the Destiny community on there telling them, yo, this is what you need to do to Immortal. And they're like, all right, facts. Facts. Because, dude, oh my god. The sweet, sweet golden chest. I'm on my way. Just one second. I'm on my way. Golden chest. I'm here. Yeah, it's me. Afrabo. Give me the God Roy Immortal for next season. I want you to replicate this Immortal with Keep Away Kill Clip, Hammer Forge, Ricochet range, but adept so I can put even more range on it. Do it. Do it. Do it. God Roy check. Aww. Aww. GG's.